guys so today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me while i talk about some of my health updates so my primer is some random sample thing that i put in this jar <laughs> so i don't know what it is i think it might be smashbox but i'm not sure so let's start with my kidney stones because that's a good place to start so disclaimer i have a really bad kidney stone right now and i'm on medication that makes me extremely extremely tired so if i seem tired and have less energy than usual that's why i saw a kidney stone specialist in new york city and basically like i had my normal kidney stone doctor send him like all of my files and records and stuff so he could like look at it and then what he wants me to do i was so glad he didn't want blood tests because i've done so many blood tests in my whole life just for kidney stone stuff so he didn't want any blood tests and i was so glad but he wants me to do genetic testing okay i'm using two different kinds of concealer today so I'm using this Maybelline one. I think this is the Fit Me concealer. And it's a little bit dark, but I can like get away with it because it's summertime. And then I'm using the e.l.f. Camo concealer for under my eyes. Do I look tired? I think I look kind of tired. So basically they're testing for some gene mutation that can cause kidney stones. It's like some rare gene thing, I don't really know. They just want like my spit. <laughs> and I should get results within like a month or so. I'm doing another genetic testing thing and this is to, I don't even know how many genes this is looking at, but this is looking at a whole bunch of different genes. And this is actually like a, like, research not even like genetic testing it's like research being done by the mayo clinic so they're asking like people who have kidney stones to send in their dna and they're gonna look at like potential connections between different genes in people that have kidney stones and test me for i think there's another gene mutation thing that can cause kidney stones that's even like rarer or something i don't know so I'm doing that too, but that one will take months to get results back. I need to wash my makeup brushes so bad. I'm like getting really low on brushes. And my concealer brush that I'm currently using is like so full of product that my concealer does not come out great. So I'm doing genetic testing. And after that, I don't know what is going to happen. Like if we find out that I do have that gene, then there's like apparently medication I can take to help, I guess. I don't know. But I mean, you're not gonna fix it because it's a gene mutation. And if it's not that gene, then we're gonna wait until the Mayo Clinic is done with their research thing and wait until I get my results back from that and see if that gives me any answers. If neither of them come back with me having either of those gene mutation things, I don't know what we're doing then because <laughs> we're like out of answers. That's the problem. Like there's something wrong with me, but all of my test results come back being like, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Except for my vitamin D125 and my calcium. Those are the only abnormal things and obviously my kidney stones, but Literally my problem is that my test results say I'm fine. <laughs> so I'm just setting my under eyes so they don't crease. Right now I have a kidney stone. That's kind of ruining my life. <laughs> I'm using my Ciate London Coconut Setting Powder. This is like, I love this, cause this smells so summery. And I didn't do like anything summery this summer, so. Here's something else funny that happened during that appointment with my kidney doctor. So, 
he wants me to also take citrate which I've done that before and I don't think it does anything for me but whatever I'll try it again because he wants me to but I don't think it's gonna work but whatever so he wanted me to take citrate and you can take it in a couple different forms so you can take pills you can take liquid or you can buy like it comes in like drink and like gummy form but those are like not covered by your insurance because they're just like independent products. <laughs> okay, my bronzer is this Tarte Park Ave Princess bronzer, which I feel like I'm getting really close to hitting pan, but I haven't hit pan yet. So I have taken the liquid form of it before and I don't feel like it did anything. So I stopped taking it, but this guy wants me to try it again, but I'm not taking it in liquid or pill form this time. So basically he asked me, have I ever heard of Moonstone before? And my mom was like at the meeting with me. We, it was like a virtual meeting and she jumped up. I was like, look, we have some right now and like showed him the box. He's like, cool, what do you think of it? Do you like it? And I was like, yeah. And it's like a drink mix that has like citrate in it. And he was like, oh good, cause I'm one of the inventors of that. <laughs> so I was like, good thing I said yes, I liked it. <laughs> so the funny thing is my kidney doctor, like the specialist guy, he actually has kidney stones which I feel like makes him such a better doctor because he can like actually relate to his patients and like know what his patients are going through. And he is a very big advocate of like, even if your stones are small or even if your stones are still in your kidney, they still cause pain, which a lot of doctors think they don't because they're stupid. <laughs> anyway, my blush is Coral Cove from Milani. And it's so freaking pretty. So, I'm drinking this Moonstone stuff again for the heck of it. See if it does anything, but I don't think it's going to, but whatever. That's that news. I also got the gummy form of it, and they are not very good. <laughs> like, I would give it like 3 out of 10, like not very good. And he wants me to drink two of those drinks a day or six gummies a day, and like... There's only like four flavors of this stuff and drinking two of it a day, it, you get tired of it. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to do that, but whatever. There's other things that you can drink that have citrate in it, which I actually also tried. I've tried basically every crazy thing out there that people have tried for kidney stones. I think it's crystal light that just naturally has a lot of citrate in it. There was a period of time where all I was drinking was crystal light lemonade didn't feel like it did anything but whatever okay next I'm gonna do my highlighter with this which is in my project pan currently I made a lot of progress on that because my camera's still like not wanting to focus it like did not want to focus the other day and now I guess it just won't focus anymore I don't know what is the problem with it so I was thinking like not actually but this would just be funny to do my kidney specialist dude was saying that if I have any like questions or concerns or whatever to message him through the patient portal and not email him because he gets like thousands of emails every day. He's like, he's like a very high up dude in like the world of kidney stone doctors. So he was like, if you have any like questions or concerns or whatever, message me through patient portal and not email me. I was like, cool. But I was like, I should message him through the patient portal and be like, hey, you should make blue raspberry flavored Moonstone <laughs> and just start like giving him product reviews through my patient portal. Anyway, I feel like if they made better flavors of it, like I think the flavors right now are like cranberry, lemon, lime, tropical and like berry or something. I don't know. Like they're not very interesting flavors. 
So if they made like blue raspberry or like green apple, I feel like, or even like strawberry, like, I don't know, I feel like those would be a lot better tasting. I like can't talk on through my eyebrows. My mom is calling me for dinner and I'm like, I'm filming, so I can't come right now. <laughs> I am like almost out of this, but this is, and it's completely rubbed off packaging. This is clear brow gel from ABH. And my brow pencil is from Billion Dollar Brows. I gotta tell her that I'm filming and I'm not coming, so they're not like waiting for me. Now we're on to eyes, finally, my favorite part. I've been using this, I think it's an eyeshadow stick technically, from Pinky Rose in the shade Hip Hop because these are like music themed. See, like it won't focus. It used to focus on stuff like this. I don't know what the problem is. Whatever. And it's just in like the skin tone shade. So I've been using this as my eye primer because I didn't like the other eye primer that I was using. So I decided I'd try using this as an eye primer. And I like it, but I need to wash my brush because I feel like my brush is making it look funny. Because it has too much like product build up on it. But again, I've been too tired to wash my brushes because of my kidney stone. It's been about a week that I've had this kidney stone and I have been like sleeping probably 18 hours a day because I'm just so tired from this medication. It just like knocks me out. I actually remember, I've been thinking about school a lot lately, I don't know why, but thinking about school. And I remember um, having a really bad kidney stone in I think seventh grade. And my mom like gave me one of these pain meds and sent me to school, <laughs> which she probably shouldn't have. She probably should have let me stay home from school, but I missed a lot of school um, because I hated school. So she sent me to school anyway. And I remember sitting in my second period social studies class. Ooh, the sun is like being obnoxious. And sitting there being like, I can't fall asleep. I can't fall asleep. I can't fall asleep. And I didn't fall asleep, but I was so tired. And then I remember my next period class was Spanish and it was with this grumpy old lady who was out all the time because this was her last year teaching and then she was moving to Florida and retiring. So, I'm trying to fix the sun. So she was using all her vacation time, but that made us literally not learn anything all year because she was just out all the time. And it was so bad to the point that in our next year of Spanish, we basically had to relearn the whole first year's content and the second year's content for Spanish because we literally learned nothing. We didn't even learn the alphabet. It was bad. But I had this like grumpy old lady Spanish teacher and I was like, I definitely can't fall asleep in her class because she'll kill me. She actually liked me a lot though. She was grumpy because she was just done with students being not good, <laughs> but she loved the students that behaved, so she loved me. This medication also makes it like kind of hard for me to breathe, so I feel like I'm like always like out of breath. Oh, while we're here, let me use my project pan. I spray it on the top of my head, don't judge me. I know it's bad to spray this stuff in your hair, but that's just what I do. My project pan spray, almost done with it. Okay, eyeshadow, what should I do? I wanna do something fun. Ooh, just painted my nails last night. I have been really into, like, I don't even know what to call, like, this, like, maybe like a pearly top coat. I've been, like, obsessed with doing pearly top coats on my nail polish lately. Okay, I can't, like, escape the sun. <laughs> the sun is just following me wherever I go. Okay, eyeballs. I want to, you know what I want to do? This is very out of character for me because I'm not a neutral type of girly, but I think I'm going to do something neutral and here's why. I just watched a Lauren May Beauty video that was like an hour long yesterday and it was all about the new Natasha Denona palette that came out 
and I only have like her five pans and I even have one of her her mini five pans but I only have like small palettes from Natasha Denona I don't have like the bigger palettes but she like came out with a bigger palette I think they call it a midi palette because it's like they're still like a bigger size and it was like neutrals and the formula oh geez the formula of it was apparently like different from what she has done in her previous palettes i love lauren may beauty so much she like compares shades and like it's fantastic the type of formula that was like her new shades in this palette were like sequiny sparkly and i think lauren kind of described it as like confetti if i remember right I was kind of delirious when I watched it, but I have Herme Decay Space Cowboy, which I think she compared it to, if I remember correctly. Um, I got this, see it won't, it used to focus on this stuff and now it won't, why won't it focus? Okay, well it's not gonna focus, I'll try to solve this issue at another time. My phone focusing issue, I don't know what the heck, but this is Space Cowboy and this is also one of those like glittery this is how she described it too as like more topper type shades not really like very pigmented and like the the moon dust shades like these kind of things these are kind of glittery and confetti -y. this is a fantastic palette and also made me think of this palette the naked 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 cyber palette because these are also kind of toppery type shades one of my favorites is this one right here because it shifts from like orange to blue it's like so cool i love that one so i was like i'm kind of in the mood now to do eyeshadow that's like that so i think we're gonna go in this direction today okay i'm gonna take my wonder beauty palette does this have a name getaway and this has quite a bit of use on it, I feel like. More than like my palettes usually have because I have so many. I'm going to take this shade right here. Does it have a name? Villa. And that's going to go in my crease and outer corner. Here's my other health update. So, a couple months ago, I went on Wellbutrin for depression. Because when you have kidney stones every single day of your life and you're just in never-ending pain, you get depressed. I don't know what to tell you. It's just a depressing thing when you have no idea what is wrong with you or how to stop the problem and you're just in constant pain. It sucks. And it made me feel freaking amazing. It made me have so much motivation and energy to do things, which was amazing. It was like I was a better version of myself. But then... I decided to also go on a medication for anxiety because that was still a thing. Which I have recently learned that I got anxiety from both my mom and my dad's side. I had previously thought it was just from my mom's side, but now I've come to find out it's from both sides, so that's why I have it so bad because I got it from both parents and I literally have both aspects of both of their anxiety. So that's fantastic. But I decided to go on Boost Bar. Now, I don't know a lot about Boost Bar. So if any of you are on it or know anything about it, please comment down below and tell me because I tried researching this and could not find much about this. But when I was prescribed it, I was told that after taking it for a while, you can stop taking it and your anxiety will supposedly be cured. And I don't know how much I believe that because that seems crazy. And I tried Googling that and Google didn't have anything to say about that. So I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't know. Let me know if you know anything about that or know anything about Boost Bar. So I've been on it for a few months. I feel like I noticed a significant improvement in my life. And... It feels completely different than the Lexapro. I did not like the Lexapro. It made me feel like an emotionless zombie. It was awful. It made me feel so tired too. So 
this first of all gave me side effects i had headaches every single day but not horrible horrible headaches like my sinus headaches were worse than the boost bar headaches so it wasn't really a big deal and i think that was that was one of my only side effects and it made me like i feel like i spiral less with my like what if thoughts of like what if this happens so i feel like i spiral less and i also feel like when i'm like living my life i don't feel like consciously i feel a difference but i've noticed a difference looking back so here's an example i'm gonna take this and use my finger to just put it all over my eyelids i was home alone and we had seen a bear with four cubs outside i don't know how it had four cubs that seems like a lot and I was home alone and my boxy charm got delivered and I wanted my boxy charm and my parents weren't going to be home for a few days. And I was like, I could either walk down to my mailbox and go get it or I could wait like five days. <laughs> and my driveway isn't like 20 feet from my house. Like I cannot see my mailbox from like my front door. It's like a very long twisty turny driveway. So it wasn't just like a quick walk to the mailbox. It was like a five minute down and back type of thing. And normally I would never go down to my mailbox, not even because of bears, but because I don't want to get kidnapped. And a lot of cars use my road to turn around because it's a dead end. So I didn't want to get kidnapped. So I would never usually go down for that reason but I really didn't want to go down because I had seen the bear with the four cubs. And like, that is a death wish. <laughs> but I went down anyway and I got my boxy charm. And I was like, there's no way I would have done that if I wasn't on the boost bar. So that is one example of how it has helped me. Also in another upcoming video, I'm also home alone and the power goes out and my basement starts flooding. Oh my gosh, I hear it. Why do I freaking hear it? Oh my gosh. Where is it coming from? I can't even get over there. Where is it coming from? What? I can't tell if that's the pipe or the freaking wall. And I would have never handled that as well as I did if I wasn't on the boost bar. But that was a fun adventure. <laughs> Not really. See, like, look, I, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this because my camera won't focus, but it's like sequiny, like sparkly. I don't know if you can tell, but it's the vibe. I need an inner corner highlight. These type of shadows look so pretty, but when I wash my face later, there's gonna be sparkles all over my face and they're gonna be on my face for like the next five days. <laughs> So that's kind of the downside to that. The other side effect that I have noticed from the boost bar, which I'm currently experiencing, is extreme brain fog. I have never dealt with brain fog ever in my life for anything. And I will literally have a thought and then I will like go to say the thought and it'll be gone. And it usually comes back within like five minutes, so I'll like remember it. But it is so annoying to like literally just lose my train of thought. I've been sending voice memos to one of my friends over Snapchat and I'll literally just like be talking and then like just pause for like 30 seconds and like be trying to think of what I was saying or where I was going. It's awful. So I'm going to take this highlighter from this Ofra palette. I think this is Star Island and just use that as my inner corner shade. So that is definitely, oh, you know what else? This is an example of me having brain fog, not remembering that this is another side effect of it. It makes me extremely, extremely, extremely tired. So I am already extremely tired from the boost bar and I'm extremely tired from my kidney stone pain meds. So literally exhausted.
that's my life right now. And supposedly after a few months these side effects go away. I was on Reddit and people were like, mm, for me it went away. And then for other people they were like, mm, never went away. I had seen like a joke somewhere, I think on TikTok. And someone was like, you can't be anxious if you're unconscious. And I was like, it's true. If you're just asleep all the time, can't be anxious. Okay, I'm going to use my ColourPop eyeliner in the shade Overboard. It's just like a metallic brown. I hate that you can't put the caps on the back of these. This is becoming one of my favorite eyeliner shades. It's just like, so pretty, I don't know. I gotta do my brow highlight. See, I'm like forgetting things. Using my stick from Ulta. That's in my project pan. At this point, I'm kind of hate panning this because I'm kind of like really sick and tired of it. But I'm so close to finishing it that I just want to finish it. Use that single shadow again that I'm panning. And then go over that. I think the sun finally left. It's just so hard to film when I like need like a mirror to like see myself in without it like blocking, you know? I'm using their Real from Benefit. And I really like this mascara. You know what other one I really like? I really like um, Wonder Wand from Ciate. I am falling in love with Ciate so much. So yeah, I'm doing a lot better mental health wise. I don't know, not really doing any better kidney stone wise because nothing has really changed. And I'm kind of dying right now. Sometimes, like, when I've had a bad kidney stone for a while, I start getting to the point where I'm like, how am I supposed to live like this? How am I literally supposed to just be in this amount of pain? Just going on and on and on and on and on. And I just get really sick and tired of the pain. And I'm kind of getting to that point right now. I was going to say something else, but it left. I literally haven't even done my makeup in days. I've just been so dead. I just posted my empties video that took me like four days to like edit and put up because I was just so tired. Normally I get those things put up within like an hour. Like I edit it and make a thumbnail and everything like in an hour. But it took me four days because I'm just dead. Okay, now I need a lip color. And I'm just gonna go with something simple. This is from Honest Beauty in the shade Blood Orange. And this is a tinted lip balm. I like it because it's like enough to just give like some color to your lips. But it's like tinted lip balm, so it's not like anything crazy. And then setting spray from Smashbox. Is anybody else ready for fall? Cause I'm like, so ready for fall. You know what else I realized the other day? So when I spray my setting spray, like I'm like this and I don't like cover my hair. So it like gets in my hair. You could low key use setting spray as hairspray. Cause like it gets my hair all crispy. <laughs> so anyway, this is my final look. Hopefully it's in focus as much as it will be in focus my sequiny eyeshadow pretty chill but this has been my health update so i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions or comments even below give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed hit the subscribe button turn my post notifications and i'll see you guys in my next video and spoiler for one of my next videos i'm starting a second project pan Okay, bye.